There are several methods that astronomers use to detect exoplanets, including transit method, this involves detecting a planet as it passes in front of its host star, causing a dip in the star's brightness. By measuring the periodicity and duration of these dips, astronomers can infer the planet's size and orbital distance. Radial velocity method, this involves measuring the wobbling motion of a star caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. By measuring the variations in the star's spectrum, astronomers can infer the planet's mass and orbital distance. Direct imaging, this involves capturing images of the exoplanet itself either by blocking out the light from the host star or by using sophisticated techniques to distinguish the planet's light from the stars. This method is typically limited to larger, more distant planets. Gravitational MICR Rowlandsing, this involves observing the distortion of light from a distant star caused by the gravitational influence of a planet passing in front of it. By analyzing the resulting light curve, astronomers can infer the planet's mass and distance from its host star. Astrometry. This involves measuring the slight wobble of a star caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. By tracking the star's position over time, astronomers can infer the planet's mass and distance from its host star. Each of these methods has its strengths and weaknesses, and astronomers often use a combination of techniques to confirm the existence of exoplanets and gather as much information about them as possible. Pulsar timing is a method used to detect and study exoplanets by observing the timing of pulses emitted by pulsars. Pulsars are highly magnetized, rotating neutron stars that emit beams of radiation that sweep across space like a lighthouse beacon. As a pulsar rotates, the regularity of its pulses can be disrupted by the gravitational pull of any planets orbiting around it. The gravitational pull of a planet causes the pulsar to wobble slightly which changes the timing of its pulses as observed from Earth. By carefully observing the pulsar's timing over a long period of time, astronomers can detect these tiny deviations in the timing of its pulses and infer the presence of orbiting planets. Pulsar timing can be used to detect planets that are much smaller and farther away from their host star than can be detected by other methods. It has also been used to detect planets in binary star systems, where traditional planet detection methods are not effective. In addition to detecting exoplanets, pulsar timing can also be used to study the properties of neutron stars and the gravitational waves they emit. It played a crucial role in the first detection of gravitational waves by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, in 2015. Pulsar timing is a challenging technique that requires precise measurements and long observation times. However, it has provided valuable insights into the nature of exoplanets and their host stars, as well as the behavior of neutron stars and the properties of the universe.